employees whisper about. Everyone who here who works here knows that we kind of have a, what you may call a clown problem. Actually, it's one clown in particular. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So I don't know if any of you recall, but back in the summer of 2016, the Universal Backlot was haunted by the sudden appearance of a mysterious clown that the internet came to call Hollywood Harry. It turned out Harry was in fact a former actor named Harold Kapowitz. He hosted a children's TV show called Poodle's Carnival back in the 1950s and also served as the original mascot for the Universal Studio Tour. After terrorizing the studio throughout 2016, Harry disappeared back into the Hollywood Hills and eventually everything went quiet for three years. Then in 2019, Harry kidnapped a pair of our Universal Studios tour guides and forced them to participate in a demented version of his children's show. Hello, boys and girls. It's your pal, Kudos the Clown. And despite the best efforts of our authorities, the bodies of Scott and Allison, my fellow tour guides, were never recovered. And once again, Harry disappeared back into the Hollywood Hills. It has been three years since we last heard from Harry, but I don't think he's gone for good. When we reopened the theme park, we found black balloons, Harry's calling card everywhere. And lately, there has been even more troubling signs. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. It's Scott and Allison. boys and girls. Hey, Scott. Halloween is my favorite time of year. Gosh, golly, Allison. That's my favorite time of year, too. I've got a great idea. Let's have a Halloween party. Hot diggity dog. That's a swell idea. Yeah! Yeah! No, no! It's all ruined! I'm sorry, boys and girls. Kudos is sad. I so want to be out. Halloween party, but they were gonna have pumpkins and ghosties and black cats and vampire bats and skeletons and and candy. Now I guess I'll have to eat my candy all by myself. <laughs> Now, who will come to my party? You!
Compton. Look what she's done to me.